Hi, my name is Nate. Eight months ago, my friend Soren and I did a Kickstarter to fund four spine runtimes. We had amazing support from the community and have since delivered 18 runtimes and more than a dozen stretch goals. Now, we have a new plan to really push spine over the top. Currently in spine, images are attached to bones, then the bones are animated and the images move with them. The first new feature we'd like to implement is a mesh attachment. Instead of using rectangular images, you can define a polygon within your image. This improves the fill rate because pixels outside the polygon won't be drawn, which is especially important on mobile. The next new feature is called freeform deformation. Once you have a mesh, freeform deformation allows you to move individual vertices to deform the image. Vertices can be created inside the mesh to control how specific features in your images are deformed. This is a powerful feature with many benefits. Images no longer need to be static and rigid. They can stretch, squash, bend, and bounce in ways that weren't possible before. This allows animations to be more alive and realistic. With skeletal animation, gaps can sometimes appear at joints when the images move. Instead of creating more art and swapping the problematic images, the existing images can easily be stretched as needed to cover the gap. Freeform deformation gives you much more mileage out of the same art. This means less time is spent creating new art and more images can fit in the same texture atlas. The next new feature is skinning, which allows individual vertices in a mesh to be attached to different bones. When the bones move, the vertices move with them, causing the image to deform automatically. This makes posing a character with images that can bend as easy as just positioning the bones. The automatic deformation from skinning is not always perfect. Freeform deformation works together with skinning to allow problematic deforms to be adjusted manually. This is often useful for images to keep their volume when bent at extreme angles. The last new feature is IK pinning. This allows the tip of a bone to be pinned in place, even when the parent bones are moved. For example, this can be used to keep a character's feet on the ground while the hip moves, or the hand stationary while the body moves. These new features work together, giving you powerful tools to create expressive, lifelike, and diverse animations. The only limit is your imagination. As you can see, these new features will really take Spine to the next level. We work on Spine full time, and we love doing it. What we need now is financial stability so we can focus on these new features over the next few months. We're asking you to pledge what you think these new features are worth, and we promise to make them a reality. We really appreciate everyone who supports us, and we really hope to have another opportunity to exceed your expectations.